It is cold here in Texas today, so I'm gonna go in this Goodwill and just look around, see if I can find any home decor or just anything really that I need or can use for my home. So let's get in this Goodwill and see what we can find today. Okay, so one of the first things that I do like to do is kind of stand back and scan the aisle, just see if anything stands out to me. And if not, I will start going in and just kind of moving things around, looking around to see if there's anything hidden behind stuff, because you will see here in just a minute that I do end up finding something that's kind of hidden underneath a lot of things. But y'all, look at this bell collection. There were so many bells donated. Somebody must have just donated their whole collection now i really like this chicken wire basket this would be so cute with like hand towels or something in it but not with those decorative balls they didn't want to sell it without the decorative balls which is silly to me and the price was also kind of expensive okay and i would love to have a set of these vintage looking corn holders i guess that's what they are called these were very heavy so i think that they were pretty good quality but at two dollars and 29 cents a piece with tax and everything, I would have ended up paying close to $10. So I decided to leave these, but I think that they would be so beautiful in the fall season, but I'm gonna hold out and see if I can find some out yard selling and garage selling for like 50 cents a piece or something. And then these birds here, I thought were absolutely beautiful and would look so pretty on a shelf for the spring and summer season, but I did not feel like they 100% would fit into my decor, so I did leave those behind. And then I also almost picked up this little train clock here for Riot. He's my little grandson that is obsessed with trains, but y'all, $5.29, I was like, no thank you, Goodwill. Okay, and I want y'all to look here. I'm looking at this butter dish, and then all of a sudden, I noticed this tree sticking out from underneath. I recognize this as a Warren Kimball tree. I have a Warren Kimball print above my guest bedroom bed, and I love it. So I recognized this print and sure enough i pulled it out and it is a warren kimball cutting board y'all like a glass top cutting board so i'm definitely gonna put that in my buggy and think about it while i go through all of these pots here and see if i want to pick any of these up for my patio for the spring
Okay, so I did want to share with you that I am literally down here on my knees, y'all. So you have to kind of get down to the bottom rack. I always tell y'all to look up, but you have to look down also. If you are physically able to get down and just kind of bend down one knee to prop yourself up and look through that bottom rack, please do it because you will be surprised at the amount of treasures that are shoved down here and kind of pushed to the back and no one ever sees them unless somebody gets down here and kind of digs through them. So be sure and check high and be sure and check low. Okay, so I spotted these beautiful placemats here for either your kitchen table, your bar, or you could just use them to layer underneath things. And I almost grabbed them, y'all. But I could not tell in the store if this was a burgundy or a dark brown. It was so hard for me to tell. But now I'm kind of wishing that I would have got them. I did not bring these home. And the only reason I did not was because of that burgundy color in them. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty yeah, so I'm glad to see y'all got a pretty packed house over here. see a couple of paintings over here and I just want to see what they are I like to look I'm not crazy about that one it's pretty no this one's kind of cute it's about to fall Let's fix that life is about waiting for the storm to pass as we're dancing around hmm. I'm gonna see what this is in the back not crazy about that. Hmm. I like this. I don't like the rest. I wonder how much this is. Eight dollars. Retail. Goodwill. All right, let's check out these blankets. I like this color, but it's already got a big rip or I mean a run in it. Hmm. That looks like a nice comforter, but it looks really hot. And then I wanted to look at this. It's kind of pretty. I just don't, I don't know. I don't like that pinkish looking 
undertone red, if you know what I mean. Look at this little picture. Oops, I'm not crazy about the frame. Go over here and see what they have. Look at this wagon wheel. $25.99. No way. All right, so I've mentioned it before, but I myself sometimes forget because it's fairly new in my area. But don't forget to check at the end caps of your clothing aisles because a lot of Goodwills and other thrift stores put things in bags and put them on the end of the aisles with a lot of goodies in there. Okay, so I've made my way through this Goodwill, but I have a few items that I've decided I do not need or want, so I'm gonna go put them back. And I am so glad that I am that person that puts things back where she found them because I do end up finding several treasures that I could not live without while putting these items back. I totally missed them earlier, but this is what happens when you actually put things back where they go. You get another chance to kind of look through the aisles. Somebody might have been in your way earlier. You might have just missed it. So I'm super excited to show y'all some of the things that I found here just as I was leaving. Okay, y'all, I am super excited to share with y'all what I got. Something that I got today, I have been looking for at like antique stores, estate sales, and they are always so expensive. And y'all, I was right behind a reseller today. And don't misread me, y'all. I have nothing against resellers. I don't have a problem with resellers. But she missed these two items. I think she's kind of new to reselling. We kind of introduced ourselves to each other. She never gave me her name. But hey, if you're watching this, because I did give her my YouTube channel name. But y'all, she missed it. She missed these two items and i am super excited she did end up asking me when i was checking out because she overheard me telling the cashier that the resellers missed it and she said well do you mind showing me what i missed and so i showed her and she said oh okay and so she said i looked right at those things and put them back so y'all i don't care if there are resellers out there galore they are all over in my community but you can still find things even when the resellers are out and I mean they're just trying to earn a living but they miss things sometimes and whoo I can't wait to show y'all so fun whoo all right we're back home now and let's get into this haul first thing that I'm going to show you is I did go ahead and pick up that Warren Kimball cutting board I hope that y'all can see it good I'll try to back up but it's a it's a glass cutting board I didn't even know that he made these let me try to get it where there's not so much of a glare I'm sorry but anytime there's a glass or something there's going to be a glare it's a very subtle looking picture I'll include a clip of the picture that I have in my guest bedroom that I really love here's the Warren Kimball um, name right here on the corner now the only thing is it's a little damaged because I believe it is a cutting board. You see it had these little stoppers on there. Well, these have been removed, so it's caused this. But where I'm thinking about putting it, um, you won't be able to see that anyway. But I just love Warren Kimball prints. And anytime, well, I've only actually ever seen two out in the wild, and I've bought both of them. So this one is, I don't know, what is this? Um, not really sure y'all let me know because I'll probably get it wrong but it is just I don't know there's just that hint of red that I could put in my kitchen lean up against a wall or I don't know maybe I could incorporate it into the guest bedroom where I have the other print as well so I did pick this up for $2.99 so I was really excited to find that little piece there and then y'all are probably gonna think I'm crazy which is okay, because some people do. I bought this. <laughs> I bought this. Okay, but I do not plan on keeping this stuff right here. What is this called? Is this called like raffia? Raffia? What is... Y'all tell me. I know it's got a name, but my thoughts on this are this. I'm thinking about maybe taking these off. And if they are on... Let me see if I can figure it out here. They are already on like a little jute string here and they're just these little fluffy hearts and they're so adorable 
Y'all thought I was gonna say cute, didn't you? Adorable. $3.29 is what I paid, which I didn't think was too bad. And I probably need to clarify something. Some people um, think that I do not like having hearts at, in my house, but that's not, that's not the case. Um, I do not like the heart cut out in wood pieces. Um, so if you go back and watch any of my videos, it's not that I don't like hearts. I don't like the cut out heart and a lot of the wood pieces that were like a very trendy thing, uh, like maybe in the eighties or something, I think, or the nineties. I don't know. It was a thing sometime, but I don't really like to keep hearts out if I do have them all year. However, <laughs> I knew it was coming. Primitive decor that I've been looking at online because I follow this um, blog and she is all about primitive and she has little heart things just kind of scattered very spar sparsely, is that the word I'm looking for? Like very little throughout her house. But the reason I got this was to make a little um, swag thing, what do you call it? Garland, I think a garland, like make a little heart garland for to put up during February. So I'll probably put it up and leave it up for the month of February, but I'm gonna have to disassemble this rat's nest here to even see if I'm gonna be able to do that. So for only three bucks and the hearts are already done, all I have to do is, you know, just make the garland. I thought that that would be a fun and simple little project that I could do and get up maybe either on my mantle or my little hutch. I'm not really sure, but I thought it would be a cute little subtle way to bring Valentine's in without screaming Valentine's with red and bright pink because I just, it's not really my style. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so going with the primitive theme still, I really have loved bringing in a lot of primitive style decor. So I thought that this piece here was very primitive and perfect for that, especially look at the handle y'all. It's made out of what is that grapevine maybe that's not grapevine i don't know but it's made out of some sort of vine and i thought that this was 100 percent country and primitive at least in my opinion it is it was three dollars and 29 cents i'm gonna try to get it up here where y'all can see the price you can't even see what i'm doing here we go three dollars 29 cents and i don't know what i will put in this i mean i could even put these little hearts in here um you could put some florals of some kind in here. You could put some little books. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I do know I'm gonna clean it. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna use it for something. So hopefully y'all will come back tomorrow because I'm gonna put a video up tomorrow showing what I did with all of these items. So let's see. Okay, let's move on to some glassware. So I did pick up this bottle here for $1.29 is how much I paid. And it's just this bottle here. I missed this the first time I went around. Like I told y'all earlier, there was a lady in there. Um, she she kind of stayed stationary in the middle of the aisle for a while, um, checking prices and different things like that, comparing them to what they were selling for on eBay. Y'all know how it goes. If you're a reseller, you know what you do. <laughs> but um, so I had to kind of wait on her to move and get out of the way. And so when I kind of was able to go back over there and have some time to look around. I came across this bottle that said, let me put my glasses on because I cannot see. It says here amid, I really can't tell. So here's what it says on the side of the bottle. It looks to be in Spanish. So if you speak Spanish, please let me know what this might be. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. And then here's what it says on the side here it's really hard i'm having even a hard time to read it so i don't know how i expect y'all to but there's that and then it's got this right here um that one's really gonna be hard to see yeah y'all can't see it but i can't even make it out really good i'm gonna have to put a light on it or something but i thought it was an interesting little bottle 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 for only a dollar 29 so I grabbed this to go with my little bottle collection that I have going on. And then y'all, the two things that she just walked right past. It may not be a big deal to some of y'all and some of y'all may be like, really, that ain't even that interesting or that exciting. But to me, 
it's thrilling. All right, y'all, so it is these flower frogs. It is two of them. And I have looked at flower frogs at, y'all, I'm not even kidding, estate sales, um, antique malls, you name it. And every time I see some that are just like this, the cheapest I think I have come across them is maybe like $12, $12. Maybe in my head, I want to say I saw one for like seven at an estate sale, but I don't know if that's correct. But y'all, so for $5.29 each, I went ahead and grabbed both of these because I was just telling somebody the other day, my friend that you see, I said, I want a couple of flower, flower frogs to put out with Valentine's Day coming up and the spring and summer. These are just beautiful to display just like this. I don't know how exactly I will use them, but hopefully I'll have these styled in tomorrow's video for y'all. So I was super, super excited to come across both of these flower frogs. So that is everything that I picked up at the Goodwill today. Like I mentioned a while ago, I am going to get these things all cleaned up and try to style them for y'all. So come back tomorrow so that you can see what I've done with all of the goodies that I purchased today. I'm gonna try to either incorporate how I'm styling my items in the video that I'm putting up that day, but if I don't have time, like today, I have a lot going on, then I'm going to just slow down. So that is one thing that I am trying to tell myself this year is to just slow down. And if I don't get it all done and I can't get it all in one video, that that is okay that the people who really love your content and want to see how you use the things they will come back everything does not always have to be just rush 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 now i'm not saying that i will never do that in another video if i have time i'm going to start doing that um in the videos that i put up that day but like today i just don't have the time so i am going to give myself that grace slow down allow myself some time to enjoy my items, get them cleaned up, and really place them intentionally in my home so that I know I really love where they are because I know that y'all can tell if things are, are rushed and fake and people are really not doing or using the things like they say they are, y'all are not dumb and y'all can definitely read that in people. So I definitely want to slow down and just be truly who I am. I really enjoy doing this. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy thrifting, styling my stuff. And I want to make sure that y'all see the, the true beauty in what I love to do. So I'm going to slow down. And I'm telling you that that's not, gonna that's not how it's going to be in every video. But that's how it's going to be today. So today we had some thrifting. And today we had a haul. And hopefully, hopefully, prayerfully, I will have this done and all styled for you in a video tomorrow. So be sure and come back and see me tomorrow and we'll see where I've got all of these items placed in my home. We hope that y'all have a wonderful evening. We love y'all and I'll see you back here, Lord willing, tomorrow with a brand new video. Mm -hmm.